Hi, I'm Randy Brown, your YRA Huron Athlete Instructor. Today's lesson is fielding a ball to your right with a circle through pick play. This is one of my personal favorite plays because it takes thinking out. This substitutes playing a ball into a backhand. So there's six key points. Number one, always get in an athletic ready position. Number two, always route and angle to the baseball. Number three, your footwork to field the baseball. Number four, field the baseball by circle through and picking it. Number five, your transition into your throw. And finally, number six, make a strong throw into first base. So let's go back to point number one, getting in an athletic ready position. Pitcher's on the mound. He's delivering the baseball. You're starting to move in. As the pitch enters the zone, you're creep stepping right, left. Notice how the chest is over the knees. The knees are bent. My weight's on the balls of my feet to allow me to explode in a given direction. You older guys may creep step to your right, to your left based on a given location and or a given pitch. For example, pitch is an off-speed pitch. Guys have a tendency to pull it. As you're creep stepping, you may end up moving to your right. If it's fastball away, you may creep step to your left. What this does and allows, it allows for you to gain a little bit more of a range to either side. So always make sure you creep step and get in an athletic ready position. Point number two. You route and angle to the baseball. This ball is hit to my right. I read it in a sense where I can charge the ball and I can circle through and pick it. So when I'm moving to the ball, I want to make sure I'm low, I'm reading the hop, and I'm reading the speed of the ball. Because the speed of the ball and the hop will dictate what your feet do. So you have to read that, and as I move to the ball, now all of a sudden I'm ready to go in to point number three, which is the footwork to field this baseball. So as the ball is hit, I read it. When I get to where my left foot before I step with my right, I want to present the glove. I know what I'm going to do based on this. I'm presenting the glove. I'm immediately going to step directly towards third base line. What that does, it's going to allow me now to really step into the ball and attack it. So as the ball's being hit, I read it, step, present. Now I can go into picking that baseball either this way or this way based on the given hop. Point number four, fielding the baseball. Again, there's two ways to do this. There's a forehand and there's a backhand. So as I enter my footsteps to the ball, now as I go, this would be a four-handed play right here. That would be a backhand. The backhand is going to be based on a given hop. A lot of times the forehand, the ball's rolling, but all of a sudden it takes an immediate hop and I have to adjust. That's why it's always important to have your glove presented to be able to adapt and make the adjustment based on a given hop. So in point number five, your transition into your throw. I fielded the baseball. What I immediately do, as you can see, my right hand is kind of down low so I can grab the baseball to secure it in my chest. So as I pick this ball, notice how I swing my right foot around in the direction towards first base. So I have the ball secured in my chest. I'm going to take a step, and then I'm going to immediately take a shuffle step. There'll be point in times based on the given speed of the ball. You may have to pick and throw on the run, but typically if you get your feet underneath you with the momentum you have, you can still make a strong throw using your legs. That was the forehand, and then the backhand is the same way. You kind of take it away, back to your chest, transition in. And then finally, point number six, when you make a throw to first base, Try to get a good four seam grip on the baseball. Try to throw it to the outfield side of first base to keep the first baseman away from the runner to prevent injury. So let me give you a couple examples here. So the first one right here is gonna be a circle through pig with a forehand. Always making sure you're following your throw, getting good momentum towards first base. Second one right here is gonna be with a backhand. Set your feet, make a good strong throw into first base. So remember these six points. Number one, always get in an athletic ready position. Number two, always route and angle to the baseball. Number three, your footwork to field the baseball. Number four, feel the baseball by circle through and picking it. Number five, your transition into your throw. And finally, number six, make a strong throw into first base. That's fielding a ball to your right with a circle through, pick play with the throw to first base.